signs you're always dealing with an alien human host. Alien human hosts, they're all over the internet, they're all over Facebook, they're all over YouTube. Um, people that, and you know, these are, these are not really people, but these are aliens that inhabit human bodies and um, walk around acting like real people. And we have, um, and I tend to think we have quite a few of these people uh, in society walking among us now and um and they could be just just about anybody they could even be your own family um the thing about alien human hosts is that uh they're, they're extremely psychic too they're telepathic they can read your mind they can um move objects with their minds and who, who knows i mean they could probably do just about anything and um if anybody checks out the, the schizophrenic forms like a Go to a mental health, um, go to any mental health forum, any, any very popular mental health forum on the internet, and, um, if you read stories, like, from schizophrenics and all that, people, they're, they're, they're always complaining that people are always reading their minds, and, um, I was on what's, I was on one of these forums, you know, back years and years and years ago, I'm gonna say about seven or eight years ago, it was a long time ago, because um, there was a time in my life when I thought there was people out there reading my minds and knowing my thoughts, and and they would demonstrate it. Some of these people would demonstrate that they actually could be reading my mind. But there's um, but it's hard to you know uh, determine that really because um, because I think on some level I was doing it I was doing it myself to people. You know I was telepathically putting thoughts into into the minds of uh, other humans on a subconscious level and they would react to it uh, you know on a subconscious level and then right away I would assume that these people are um, reading my mind when it wasn't actually the case um, some of these people though are not even really people as I said alien human hosts and they can read their mind they can read your mind and they will put on the act of um, they will demonstrate that they could, and at the same time, you know, they'll tr try to downplay it at the same time, like, you're going crazy, and, and I think that's one of their goals, is to, um, because, uh, these alien human hosts, um, one of their main goals is to, uh, keep humanity from waking up, and, um, and realizing the cold world, realizing just how controlled we as human beings are, and the aliens that control us, and, um, and they need to keep the call world hidden because if they if they do and they keep humanity from from not realizing who they truly are uh, like their psychic potential um then they'll never be discovered you know and they can continue hosting other human beings and and then um and then eventually you know uh i mean humanity will always be enslaved uh so it's really up to people to uh, meditate, to do yoga, to research the occult, to research the astral, study, 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 because um, because with a lack of knowledge and um, a heightened psychic, if you if you just stick with the meditation and yoga, you really know nothing about the occult, or um, or you know uh, how the astral works and all that. You can easily end up in one of these um, mental hospitals, and um, and a lot of psychic people. Are, know nothing. I mean, and there, there, there's, a, there's a lot of people that are psychically, um, you know, that they, that they do have, uh, their psychic senses. I mean, they're a bit more open than your um, average person. And a lot of these people happen to be Christians, Muslims, you know, and, um, but they know nothing of the occult. They don't know, they don't know nothing about the astral or, or you know, um, anything like that. So um, they end up in crazy homes, mental hospitals, you know. And, um, so it's very, and then, and who knows, you know, just, I mean, because it's a pretty known fact that, you know, LSD and shrooms like that, I mean, even though I, I do believe that these drugs, uh, drugs like this, you know, like, like shrooms, I don't know so much about LSD, I'd rather go with the natural route to it, but, um, but drugs like shrooms, I think, are, um, a pretty, you know, good tool for enlighten, enlightenment, like, to enlighten yourself, I mean, depending on how, how you, uh, depend on, depending on how much you know, I mean, um, about the astral, uh, about the occult, and, um, and depending on how, how much, how responsible you are as a person, then, um, using such, 
such uh, such things as like shrooms as tools I think could be pretty helpful in your um, spiritual development as a human being but without the proper training then um, psychedelics can be used against a person and um, the ones that will be using it against you are the aliens that um, control this planet and also operate from the astral and um, and the idea I mean the whole goal for uh, for the human being um, is to uh, be the uh, pool stick instead of the billiard ball and um, you could think of life as the pool table you know um, humanity currently is at is currently at the point of being the billiard ball, always constantly being hit around uh, with, by the pool of stick, that, that being by these aliens or, you know, life in general. Um, you know, it's, you know, the whole goal is to escape the Hotel California, so to speak, so it could be the other way around. And, um, and you know, this matrix that we live in is the Hotel California. And um, and those that do psychedelics and um, you know not w without the proper you know spiritual without the proper training so to speak you know uh, no knowledge about the occult the astral you know these aliens and shit like that um, they'll easily fall victim to such beings once they do psychedelics and, and meet these beings on the astral and um, and eventually you know. Uh, it's kind of like um, it's just like the song "The Hotel California" by the Eagles, and um, and one thing I hate about the JOS is that they try to uh, paint these fucking musicians off as being as being you know positive and righteousness. I mean right, and and and, and uh, they try to paint them off as possibly right. And they try to paint them off as righteously positive, and um, musicians such as Led Zeppelin and the Eagles and all that. Uh, they're satanic, but they're not. They're not um, the same kind of satanic as what the JOS tries to paint them off to be. And um, and you know, uh, if they were, I mean, if if they really were, they wouldn't have. You know, they wouldn't have. They wouldn't be. Um, they wouldn't be famous musicians, and um, and you know, writing songs that are you know. Um, and they really and they don't write songs that are potentially dangerous to uh to you know the um to the control system they write they write music that corresponds with the control system and satanism corresponds with it um the belief that the I mean, the, the pagan gods and goddesses they correspond they tie in with this system they're part of the system they're part of the matrix and um and you know uh they're they're still the same they're still the same face but um but they but they're wearing a different mask. I mean, uh, the pagan gods and goddesses are 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 the matrix. It, it's the same face, but you know, it's just different masks, um, in different uh, time periods. I mean, you know, as we move into the age of Aquarius, there's going to be a different mask that will be put on then that corresponds more so with the uh, with the with the um, with the age of of Aquarius. And but you know, it'll still be you know, they'll still have a control system, you know, there as well to keep you trapped within this matrix. As the control system, it needs, it needs to change, as in um, each age we move into, because each age has, each age that we move into has a different effect over human consciousness. I mean, it never, it never remains the same. So, you know, um, that, that being the system and all that. And um, back when the pagan gods and goddesses were worshipped, um, we were in a, in a constellation to where, you know, um, you know, the belief in one God, you know, the one God system would have never worked because humanity would, you know, I mean, it would, would probably be able to see past that shit. And, um, it, I mean, it just, you know, different ways of thinking. And, um, and that's the reason why I also think they staged uh, World War II and all that. And, um, and maybe they were setting up, you know, a, a better control system for, for the future to better correspond, um, with the matrix, you know, um, and, and the constellation that of Aquarius that we're moving into, and anyways, though, uh, 
the Hotel California is uh, basically a song about the Matrix. Um, you know, uh, in the distance I saw a shimmering light. I thought to myself that this could be heaven or this could be hell. And um, but it's both, really. You know, um, uh, it's no different from you know uh, the movie Hellraiser. You know. Uh, um, you know that it's that old 1980s movie Hellraiser um, with Pinhead and all that, the Cenobites, and which I which I think is a pretty damn good movie, by the way. But um, but uh, the message behind it all is, I mean, there's a, there's a big occult message within that movie as well, too. I think. And um, but anyway, the point is, um, that this Matrix, the Hotel California that we live in, it's um. It's a lot like the Hellraiser dimension, you know. Um, heaven and hell are, are the same place. Um, uh, the Cenobites were all about pleasure, you know, seeking pleasure and all that. And, um, and you know, uh, severe pleasure seekers, um, you can't, I mean, that's the way of duality, you know, um, as that quote by, uh, what's his name? Oh, fuck. God, this is. He's a famous. He's a he's a pretty famous dude. He was a Buddhist. He um, gosh, and let me look up his name very fast. Um, just give me a couple seconds. Actually, I think it's best if I just stop this video. And... Okay, I, I found the quote, and the quote is by um, Alan Watts. He said, "There is a price to be paid for every increase in consciousness. We can't be more sensitive to pleasure without being more." without being more sensitive to pain and um and i think that that was kind of like you know the main message of uh, one of the main messages that they were trying to put forth in the hellraiser movie you know you can't um you can't be uh like uh the cinnabites said that when when um when they were asked what they were in the first hellraiser movie by that by that chick that was trying to um that was trying to run away from her uncle frank and all that i mean uh you you guys if you, if you guys seen the movie then you talking about but um well you know, about the chick and all that uh, the story of the movie but um when she encountered the Cenobites she asked them uh what are you uh, and the Cenobites said they were um explorers um in the deep regions of like you know uh consciousness or something like that extreme pleasure seekers you know um and the point of that being and, and then she asked what they are and then Ken had said uh we're demons to some, angels to others. So you know, um, and that's a message. Message right there being pushed is that um, you can't. Um, I mean, the more you know, the more, the more you, uh, the more pleasure you gain in life, the um, you know, uh, the the more pain, well, the more problems that come with it. It's like um, it's like that P Diddy song, you know, more money, more problems, or you know. Um, with with more power comes more responsibility you know what i mean there, there's always a flip side to everything and um so you know uh heaven and hell you know are the same place and um and these um these cenobites being that you know you could call them the nordics or you know or the aliens that control the nordics or or alien human hosts that's probably what the nordic quote unquote extraterrestrials, if they are extraterrestrials, you know, minus the quote unquote, um, that, that's probably what they could be, you know, um, so, you know, he's approached by that demoness, you know, um, or that angel, or that angelic being, so, you know, uh, leading them to the Hotel California, you know, uh, the light, and, um, and then she says to him, we're all just prisoners here of our own device. Meaning, you know, what I think is, um, humanity is their device. Humanity is that, um, that Hellraiser box, so to speak, you know, or that, um, or that, uh, key maker from the, from the movie, you know, The Matrix. You remember the second movie, The Matrix, The Key Maker, the, uh, that old Asian dude where, um, the vampires kidnap, the vampires kidnap, kidnap, kidnap that guy to begin with, and the vampires were simply a program of The Matrix, you know, but, um, but you know they they, they kidnapped the keymaker and um, and the keymaker was uh what the keymaker did was his sole purpose as a program was to uh, 
was to, you know, create, you know, an infinite number of worlds within the Matrix to create new worlds and all that. And, and they, and the vampires, they wanted that power. And, um, and the same with the Hellraiser box, you know, if, um, if one controls the box right, you know, um, you know, uh, and they can possibly be, become a Cenobite, you know, and, um, instead of being, you know, a victim within that, you know, within that realm. But, uh, so, you know, um, if you control the box right, you know, you, you're, you'll end up being that, um, that pool stick instead of that billiard ball. And, and that's why I think these aliens that control this, control humanity, we're their Hellraiser box. And, um, they, they created that box to begin with. And, um, and we're their, uh, we could be their hell or we could be their heaven but since they know how to control the box we're their heaven you know i mean we're their paradise without us they ain't shit without humanity um well i don't think they have much but um but a lame you know in between reality of you know i mean um it, just a just a plane probably in between reality of heaven and hell and, and they want everybody wants to live in that paradise and i think humanity is their ticket you know um to be in, in that paradise, and then, um, you know, if they fuck up on the box, then, you know, humanity could possibly be free, and will become the Cenobites, and fucking, you know, and then they'll become our bitches, our slaves to eternity and all that, but, um, and which they deserve, you know, because these aliens, they have damned so many human souls and destroyed so many of us, um, it, it's only the righteous thing to do is for them to face justice in, in eternity, you know, but, um, which I think is possible, you know, um, you know, you can enslave a soul forever, I think, and you can't torture a soul forever, uh, I honestly think that, just as you can destroy a soul, too, but, um, anyways, so the Hotel California, it, it's heaven and hell, they're, they're the same place, the Watt, um, you know, fucking, Christian, hell, whatever, or heaven, so be you, um, people find this out for themselves, when they, um, when they, you know, uh, the more they're guided by these angels, this angelic, or this, uh, demonic, beautiful demoness, or demon, so be you, you know, uh, the more she or he leads you down that path, uh, towards the light, so to speak, you know, the light, Jehovah's light, um, you start to come, you, you start to, you know, you, uh, you start to come to this realization that, um, that, you know, uh, that, you know, this is, this is not, you know, the Hotel California is not a place where you want to be, um, as you're le led into that, um, what do you call it, uh, they call it the dining, how's that, how's the, I'm, I'm trying to think of the part of the lyrics towards the end of the song, Hotel California, um, you know, you're, you know, you, you all go into the banquet area and we gather for the feast. Um, everybody tries to stab it with their steely knives, but they just can't kill the beast. Um, next thing, next thing I know, I was running for the door, trying to get back, back to the place I was before. Relax at the night, man. We're all programmed to receive. You can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. So the thing is, though, you know, everybody's eventually led to that to that room, you know, to that, uh, gather for the feast, and then they try to stab it with their stealing knives, but they can't kill the beast, they find out that, that the beast, that the devil is God, and God is the devil, you know, as with everything in this society, in this matrix, it, it's in reverse, it's, um, it's, uh, upside down, backwards, you know, doctors destroy health, universities destroy knowledge, um, uh, religion destroys spirituality, um, the mainstream media, the news destroys the truth. I mean, um, everything is, you know, backwards. And fucking, um, so, you know, uh, Satanists, Christians alike, they, they, they'll come to this realization that, um, the devil, you know, is God, and God is the devil, because, you know, the devil, these aliens, are represented by the devil, um, and they, they, they hide behind that concept. They're the devil, and um, and they created this matrix. They created this universe. I mean, there's an infinite number of universes, but they um, 
but in a way, or you know, how can I put it? In a way, they're the architects of this universe. They created it, and because um, humanity has been, at, you know, when when they were creating, when they created humanity, and they guided our evolution and tampered with that, our evolution, um, they um that. They, they, they guided our evolution and in the process they were tampering I mean and, and, and at the same time they were tampering tampering with our evolution and creating and creating us as you know human beings fucking um they adapted us into a thought matrix and indoctrination system in the process so um we're in the universe where we're finally we're, we're in tune with the universe of their choosing of the universe they want us to be in so you know um so you know that's I think that's where where you know the saying goes you know the matrix has you before you before you realize it you know we're in a trap we're born in the fucking trap house literally so um and the whole idea the whole the whole goal is to escape the trap house to escape the hotel California you know um Christians and Satanists and atheists and all that they they come to find out that um well, a lot of atheists, I think, fucking. I, mean, I don't want to say a lot, but some atheists, I think, can see this, can see this truth. But it, but they're um, but by then, I'm pretty sure they're already silenced, or you know, uh, or in very very few cases, rarely, I would say, would would be killed. But um, but though you know, people eventually come to come to the realization that you know they've always been fucked and, and screwed. And um and that you know the devil is God and God is the devil and um so you know they're running back to that door trying to find find the place that they were you know before and um relax the night man you're programmed to receive I mean so you know the matrix programs you um it, it's like I said you're born in the trap house the matrix has you before you before you even begin to realize that it does and by the time you do realize it you're already you know um checking out and, and um back to reincarnation here to this shithole you know uh never to escape and, and that's the message within the hotel california the the trick is though the goal is to realize that you're in a trap house before the trap house gets you and um and that's the point of my channel that's what i'm trying to wake people up to and nobody, hardly anybody's gonna fucking listen to me because of the sound of my voice, because I don't sound cool enough, or fucking, um, or some other fucking stupid, you know, judgmental reason on their part. But, um, what I say though is the truth. And, um, you don't, you know, if you decide to ignore a man, you know, uh, when it comes to them speaking the truth, or a woman, and, and, um, just because of some imperfection, or or if they're not uh, cool enough, you know, uh, or if they don't get involved in R and B and hip hop, or fucking you know smoke weed and bones and listen to Bob Marley, man. I mean, fucking then you know you're you're fucking yourself. You're you're digging you're digging yourself a deeper grave. So you know you 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 want to judge somebody based on you know a, a, on their reputation and all that, despite the fact that they're telling the truth. Then fucking. And so be you. That's on you. And you and um, you're you're gonna face a nasty wake up call in the future, you know. And there's uh three paths that lie in front of a human being, uh, you know, when it comes to this matrix and all that. If you decide to stay here, you can either fucking um, continue going through the uh, cycles of reincarnation until you end up being until your soul ends up being damned on the astral, and, and you end up in a place that's similar to the fucking Christian hell, or your soul becomes destroyed, and, um, and you face non-existence, dissipation, which I also believe is possible, um, if you're lucky, and I, and I highly fucking doubt that you ever will be, especially in this age, you can serve the system, and you can be that, um, could be that Cinnabite, I guess, kind of like Pinhead or something like that, and, and, and torture human beings forever, and be a traitor, and fucking to your own kind, and, and you know, but you're, you're still going to be in that matrix, still facing agony and torture yourselves, and, and every part of you as a human being will be, you know, stripped away, pretty much, you'll be a drone, you know, 
um, and that's pretty much what the Cenobites were. They were drones. They were they, they had no empathy. They had no emotion. No, you know, I mean, they were like robots, but they were like sadistic fucking, you know, sadistic fucking fucked up fucking robots. And um, and and a good video to watch about that, uh, about you know the Hellraiser flick, is um. I'll post his video in the video description so you guys can check it out for yourselves. And he makes a pretty good fucking video about it. Um, he's he's some YouTuber that talks about spirituality and all that. But I also think he's um the chosen race of people. And you know the chosen race, the the the, the people that run Hollywood, our our government, um, uh, our mainstream media. They all have big noses and fucking they're really racist people. You, I, I'm trying to paint out a picture to, to who I'm talking about exactly, but um, but I don't want to come out and, and say it, say who these chosen race of people are, because I'll, my channel will be reported. And I just posted a video on my other channel yesterday. It was yesterday, yeah, but about the chosen race and how they um like to go around and pretend to be um, white people in order to you know race bait and fucking um and push the white supremacy card and all that and and um all in order it's like a divide and conquer and at the same time i think they're they're like uh they're like putting white people the white race into a bad spotlight too but um i had to remove that video got removed it was reported and removed and um and i only had it for uh, for about three minutes before somebody fucking got up got on my you know checked it out and then reported it and that goes with any of my videos that, that are mainly about the chosen race. And um, they, they never make it up longer than, you know, three minutes or so until they're reported and fucking. So, you know, and I know my channel isn't popular, not, not near, hardly. So, you know, that's proof right there that there, there's people from the government, from fucking, you know, that are working with the system directly. And they're mon mon monitoring my channel 24-7. So, you know, not much I can do about that. But, um, but yeah, w welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely face, such a lovely place until, you know, you wake up and realize that it's controlled by the beast. And, um, and then, um, you're running for that door. And, you know, the night man, the night man said, relax, we're all programmed to receive. You can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Um, the Hotel California, you know, uh, yeah, it's not a good place, and, um, the Joy Satan talks about the Hotel California and the Song of the Eagles, but they paint, they, they, they paint it off to be a place of goodness and all that, but, um, Huda Cobra, he, 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 he likes to twist lies, uh, with a lot of truth, and then, um, because there's a lot of truth in what he's saying, he's gonna throw in a couple lies, and it's gonna sound fucking, you know, it's gonna sound convincing, and it's gonna suck people in. And this guy is probably an alien human host himself, and um, or he's one of the chosen race of people. And if that's the case, then best believe he's involved. Best believe that he's um, he's uh working with the system directly, and he knows a lot more about the occult and and and, and, and how it works and psychic powers and shit like that because he's been he's been brought up that way. He's been he's been brought up to be a soldier for the system and all that. Uh, you know, and us, us human beings, us genuine human beings, um, we're we're warriors at heart. You know, fucking, um, uh, we don't we don't need to be soldiers. We don't need to serve a system like his kind has to. But um, but and for this, and for us being born into their into their matrix, then we're never we're never brought up on such you know knowledge about the occult and psychic powers and, and shit like that, like he is. And, um, there's, there, I mean, it, it, it's like humanity is bred into a war zone, blindfolded, you know, and anyways, so, uh, a war that we don't even know exists, <laughs> but it does, I mean, blindfolded, but, uh, anyways, though, I was gonna go on to talk about alien human hosts, and, um, I'm gonna make, I'm probably gonna make a part two to this video, but, um, but yeah, alien human hosts, they're, they're all over the place, and fucking, um, these people can never be, they're not, they're not even people, and, um, and they can't be trusted, they'll, uh, 
what the, what happens is these aliens they attach the people on the astral. I bring this up on my other videos. They attach the person's aura, and then um, due to an unhealthy lifestyle, I think mainly drugs, but there could be other means of them being able to get past the aura and merge with the astral body. I, I don't know, but I do know one way of one way they do it for sure is through drugs like meth, and um and once they're able to weaken the aura enough through hard drugs like meth, um, methamphetamines, um, they were able to uh, penetrate the aura, then merge with the astral body. And um, once they merge with the astral body, that's when it's game over for you. And um, your soul probably gets devoured in the process. And um, you lose consciousness. You know, you're, 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 you no longer exist. And the alien has full control of your body. And it's just the alien consciousness that remains. And, um, and then they live out their lives as a human being until they die or, you know, and when they die, they either move on to another victim or they become something more than what they pre previously were as an alien human host, i.e., I think probably a Nordic or something like that, you know, and, um, but anyways, these alien human hosts, they'll go as far as even pretending to be your friend, you know, um, because if you're one of those genuine human beings, and you'll know if you are, because, um, well, you wouldn't really, I mean, these aliens, they play mind games with people all the time, so you really don't know, you know, us human beings are so confused, we don't know if we're, you know, uh, us genuine human beings, we're so, we're so indifferent, we're, I mean, I don't want to say indifferent, we're so different from the system, you know, and the system that, well, you know, we don't, we don't see, we, we see this world as an alien world, you know, and, and, it, and in a lot of senses, it is, and, um, so we start to question ourselves and, and whether if we're aliens or not but um but you know uh, the soul the sole fact that you probably would have to ask such a question in the first place would more than likely mean that you're a human being you know a genuine human being because those that are not would fucking would would i think would fucking know you know know for a fact that they're um aliens and um Anyway, so you'll be that genuine human being, and once you get involved in the cult and try to find a way out of the Hotel California, then um, you'll have these fucking um, alien human hosts pretending to be your friends, and you'll have these aliens on the astral pretending to be your friends, but they, but they always play, the ones on the astral always play good cop, bad cop, so you're going to get fucking friction from them as well, you'll, you'll question whether these um, beings on the astral are good or bad, you know, but, um, but the alien human hosts, you, you, you'll fucking... You won't. Eat, I mean, you, you'll you'll do the same thing, but you probably won't realize that they're alien human hosts until they get you into that corner, like they did to me, and then you start really start to wake up then, and fucking um. But yeah, they if you're involved in the cult and you're a genuine human being, and you'll have people randomly fucking pop up in your life trying to be befriend you, and they're also into the same thing. And they'll also try to, you know, deter you in, in very sneaky ways of making you fall off the path, whether it be by drugs or by spreading, you know, you know, trying to get you involved in Christianity or, you know, in some sneaky way or fucking, and they, they have many tactics of, you know, making a person fall off. And this is why friends is so dangerous to have. Then again, I don't believe friends, period, in this universe, you know, but um, even, even outside of the Matrix, I really don't believe there's such thing as friends, but, um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, and you can't have friends when you're still trapped in this matrix. People are the enemy. And, and until you wake yourself up and get out of this matrix, only then can you help your, 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 your fellow human being. But until then, they're the enemy. They, they, and, and, and people, whether genuine or not, are going to bring you down. And um, it, it's best that you focus on yourself. And enough to you know where you can escape this matrix and realize that you, that you're in it, because if you um because if you realize a second too late, because the, the moment you the moment they put you in the corner of the wall and then you realize the matrix already has you before you for it you realize the matrix already got you it's too late and fucking um it's more than likely I'm gonna say fucking a hundred percent. That that is probably too late, but um, but yeah, the trick is to realize that that you're in a matrix, you're in a trap house before the trap house traps you. So you know, fucking um, but I'm gonna make a part two to this video. I have a lot more to say about alien human hosts 
and have a spot them within society. And um, these people, I think, are usually well liked people. And um, and you know, uh, I always said that the people that seem the most normal in society are usually the people that are alien human hopes. Anyways, so I'm gonna make a part part two to this video. So yeah.